In this video, I would like to look at some of the similarities or things to be aware of when you are working with um, data that has been projected. So data that is stored in one projection and then is displayed in another projection. If you then try to clip the data in that other projection, some unexpected things might happen. Um, if we uh, look in QGIS, um, I'll be using this uh, Natural Earth dataset that you can download from the Natural Earth website. Um, I'll just start use this uh, starter pack, but uh, uh, a gear package. And what I would like to work with, I would like to work with the countries, and I would like to work with uh, populated places, no towns. That. So, the um, thing is that I want to work with Europe. Um, and if I um, change the projection to um, that, basically, these, this uh, Lampert conic of the Lampert equal area, the so Lampert conic. And Lambert Equal AI are the two recommended projections for EU. And if uh, we apply them, you see that something strange uh, doesn't really work. So that some of the countries they clip around, and it, th this is a little um, thing that you have to be aware of in the QGIS. So uh, it's um, It can do one of them. So it's a, but the thing is that to avoid that type of problem and um, and also to reduce the uh, field size, um, I um, I want to be able to clip this um, Europe up. So um, what you might do is that you would go up. And say layer and create a new temporary layer to do the clipping in. It is going to be a polygon. And we can set this projection to uh to the one that we're running. Uh so um that's fine. And that doesn't really matter what what projection the layer that I'm using to clip with um, has. It's the uh, data that I'm clipping that's important thing to be aware of. So if I now go in and create, I just uh, set my new layer in edit mode and create a polygon. So we might say we wanted something um, that is relatively square, like this. First to here. And um, just popping up. Yeah. So this is what I would like to clip out. So if I um, stop the editing, save it. This is just a temporary layer. Um, and then go and do a clipping. Where are my countries? Is the layer I want to clip? And I want to clip it with my new scratch thing here. Um, and I'll just say run. And this thing. You can see that this might not have been what we would have expected. Um, so um, the red layer that is in that newly clipped layer of um, of the the grey brownie one is um, somewhat not following this uh, rectangle. Well, it it is. Um, it's not it's not a bug if you wish it's uh, rather a feature of this is how things work 
Because if I go to the original projection, so if I set project projection as original, so like that, um, you can see that my clipping rectangle and my clip layer now matches. But the clipping rectangle is not rectangular any longer. Um, so it has been projected. So what happens is that when I do the clip, my clipping layer is projected to the layer, to the change to the projection of the data being clipped. And because it only does it with the four corners in this case, then this projection goes terribly wrong. Um, so what to do about this? Um, there is some different possibilities. Um, because, I mean, the idea with the reason why I wanted to do the clipping in, um, in, in, in this format is that it, that this is where I can not see Europe as a square and I can I can do the clipping. So I would like to use the projection correctly here. Um, so what the trick I would normally use is that I will uh, just delete this one. And then the problem is that I said that it's the corners that are being projected. Um, because these are the only data points. So when we define the square, we define it by each time we click with our mouse. I could just click around lots of times to make it um, more um, have for more data points and therefore have a better projection of the of the square. But there's a tool for doing this. Um, that is called so this pr uh, process is called densifying. So um, what I can do. I can um, use this, well, there were, there's two, densify by count, or densify by interval. Um, so basically, how close are the points going to be, or how many points do you want? That um, doesn't really matter which one you use. Uh, and I want to identify this one with a thousand points. So basically, I'm inserting a thousand data points thousand clicks in this file here. So it should be very close to the same. So this is my new densified layer and my original clipping layer. But if I now use the clipping tool, do my clip on again my countries. But this time, I will use my identified layer as my clipping layer instead. And this time, if uh, we look at the result, oh, I forgot. So that I clipped the points. So let's do that again with uh, right layer. I need the points anyway. So I'll just change this one to my countries and use my identifier here clipping and close and now you can see that the clipping is what we've expected so the thing is that if we just clip of a um, a single point in each corner of a rectangle then we, there's a chance of um, of this data set being uh, Reprojected to a form that you can't recognize. So if I go back in this one, you can see that if I uh, go back to the original projection of um, this data set, you can see the difference between my densified square and my with only the four points square. So you can see the four corners are still the same, but the lines in between have changed because when I do the reprojection on a densified data set, then I'll get something that matches that transformation much better. So um, this basically uh, illustrates this simple problem of 
that when you do clipping, remember to file, do the clipping in the projection that the data set came in. So when you loaded the data, or you can always make sure that it is that, that projection by right clicking on the layer and doing set project coordinate system from layer. That will um, make sure that the whole project is you is shown in this layers coordinate uh, projection as it's stored on the file. Or you can use this little trick of using the identifier tool. So either doing identify by count or then doing identify by interval to add extra points in your file so that the projection will not only just influence the corners but the whole shape. So I hope um, this uh, helped you in uh, working with clipping and doing clipping on projected data. Bye.